Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Big Mac Davis here to some more Ashes 2063, the enriched version for the PC. Play through GZ Doom on the arcade difficulty setting. Yes. We're on map six terminus. I believe this is I believe this is part sixteen of the series. Yes, already on part sixteen, my goodness. Um yeah, 16 is the legal age to drive, actually, in the United States. So, yeah, we're already on part 16. Uh, I remember being 16. Good times. <laughs> Good times. So, let's continue through the bar, which is called, um, The Last Stop. And we'll do some more exploring here. We've got some more junk. Always nice to have. So the back storeroom just has some junk. That's it. Okay. Bang on some of the doors. They don't do anything. Can't break any more glasses. Well, hello there. Yeah, we talked to you last time. Uh, Violet? Yes, Violet. That is her name. And we talked to everybody else here for what they had to say. And, uh... I guess that's all we can really do in the bar. So let's uh, go on out then. Yeah. <laughs> what I what is with you people? What is with you people? Okay. Um. Yeah. Know the signs. Blank stare. Sweating. Erratic behavior. Inform a police officer! Oh no! Someone's turning into a zombie! They need to die. Hey, we got some more junk. Awesome! Got hanging clothes up here. I guess this is where people hang their clothes to dry? I don't know. Um, there are seven monsters, though, and two more items to find. Which, I think... Yes! Two more junk is seven of seven! Unless I get more from the boxes that I smash, then the item count will go up. But I've not found any of the monsters yet. So still gotta be on the lookout for those. Um... Let's see, who are you? Ah, dealer. Heading into the city? This is the last stop, so make sure you got everything you need. Or do you just need a little chemical relief? Uh, what do you sell? Oh, I got anything you need, friend. Poppers, buzzers, jellies, sleepers, uppers, downers. Uh, got anything with a bit more kick? looking for something to give you an edge? You need a regen stim. $250. I also have a purge stim for $200. Or how about a brute stim? $300. Hmm. Yeah, what do all these stims do? Now I'm curious, because we do have a few of the stims with us already. Your first taste, eh? Regen heals you, keeps you in the game longer. Purge cleans you out when you take a dip in the glowing shit. Brute turns you into a freaking animal. You'll shoot twice as fast. You need these. Ooh, actually the Brute stim sounds interesting. Um, they all sound interesting. I like the Regen stim because it heals me. Purge, though, cleans me out when I take a dip in the glowing crap. Okay. Um. We won't buy anything, though, right now. Maybe I will later. I don't need anything right now. You still here? I'm looking for something... special. Looking for something to... Okay, we already have this. I guess that's all I can do. 
So we'll just leave. Okay, so... He's the dealer. He sells me his wares. One day, those mutants are gonna get us. I just know it. He's a loser. That's actually his name. Loser! Who are you? Gun seller. Ah, scaver. You looking for some firepower? Everything you see, handcrafted here in the metro. Um, what's been happening? Heard some crazy girl on the radio. Man, I wonder who she is. Maybe she's one of those popsicle girls sleeping through the years, waking up all alone in need of rescue. You've actually heard her speak? Well, <laughs> no. But from what the gate captain said, she sounds like a babe. Some of the other scabbers went over to the spire to see if she was there. No idea if they made it. Why do you think they went to the spire? It's a radio station. Where else would she be? Too bad it's crawling with man-eaters. Oh, well, all the more left for us, eh? Can I see what you have? No problem, pal. You need a weapon or ammunition? Well, um, what weapons do you sell? You into hunting? Take a look at these. Got a heavy slug rifle that will drop a muti with one shot from 300 bases. 200 chips and I'll throw in a scope. In absolute steel, friend. Hmm, do I have this heavy slug rifle or not? Hmm. Did you make this? Eh, mostly. Why? Ah, okay. Riggs did most of the springs and stuff, but all the carvings and ropes and polish and crap, all me, baby. Um, 200? Give me the rifle. I'll take it. Might as well. Done deal! Hey, it is a new weapon. We don't have this one yet. Okay, cool. Um, show me what you have again. Um, I need ammo. Sure. Just tell me what you're carving. I sell packs of slugs for 140, shot shells for 80, and 45 caliber for 30. Um, well, I do have the rifle, and I only have 14 ammo for it. So, I'm using a rifle. Here's 140 for the slugs. I only get four? Whoa. So, so maybe not a good idea to buy it here, then. Maybe a waste of money, but... But this thing might be able... To... Oh my goodness, yeah. Definitely worthwhile if I'm facing like a tough enemy from range. Or something like that. Nice. But I got my double barrel, and maybe I could use some more shotgun shells for it. Hmm. That's a good observation there, Big Mac Davis. Um... I need ammo. Shotgun, here's 80 for the shells. How much, how many shells do I get for this? Only just a handful. Well, we have $1,115 left. I'll just uh, not buy anything more. At least not for a while. What would happen if I shot that and it exploded next to him? Like, what would happen? Oh, I'm shooting him instead. They're, they turned on me. I think I said in the top left there I was disturbing the peace. So if I just shoot one time with any weapon, even in the air, it's considered a hostile threat. Except for the crowbar. Can't bash that trash can, though. Uh, there are no secrets. Okay, so I shouldn't worry about that, but 
still. Yeah, let's not blow that up then. Let's talk to you though. Hey, it's Riggs. Can I help you? Are you Riggs? Smiley sent me. Ah, so you're the courier. Yeah, he said you'd be coming. How did you find us? I thought that route was blocked. I haven't seen Smiley in ages. He's still an a-hole? Uh, he's still an a-hole. How do you know Smiley? Used to work with him when we traveled. Now I stay here, where there's always work. And he stays at the dam, where he can lord it over gangsters and peasants. Not much has changed, then. I hope this was worth it. He keys in a code, opens the case, then locks it again. Wow, he wasn't kidding. Some pretty good stuff in here. What's in it? Oh, that's our little secret, my friend. Just a few things from way back when. You could call me a collector of sorts. And with the route through the subway clear now... Well, if that's settled, there's the little matter of payment. He stares at you. Excuse me? You want me to pay you? Didn't he already give you money? No, and I didn't come all this way for free. He said you would pay me for this. His eyebrows raise as realization dawns. Why, that slimy, no good son of a gun! He said that? He told me you were working for him, not some freelancer. I did it because he said you'd pay if you wanted to keep that briefcase. He looks down at the package in his hands. Gosh dang it! Who does he think I am? Some effing weapons dealer? I didn't have anything to give you without the parts I need. Or I don't have anything to give you without the parts I need. Maybe I should take... Maybe I should just take that briefcase back. No, no, look. We can work something out. How about I give you something for your time, and we'll call it even, yeah? Blame Smiley, not me, okay? I can be... persuaded. What do you have? I have a suit of metal armor I've been working on. It's not pretty, but it should do the trick. I don't think the original buyer is coming back anytime soon. Okay. Anything else? Well, I could just give you a big backpack full of ammo instead. Whatever I can find. Sorry, without weapon parts, I can't make you anything special. Which do you prefer? Ah, man. Do I want the armor? Or do I want ammo? That's a curious question here. I guess it depends on how much. I know the arm I know the metal armor will give me like a mega armor of sorts, but I don't know how much ammo I'll get. But it is a backpack, he said. Does it work like a backpack, like an original Doom? I'm hoping. Hmm. You actually make weapons? When I have all the parts, I know a little gunsmithing. Mostly I just do repairs or modifications. Zeroing sights and such. Um, think you could work on anything of mine? Well, let's have a look. You show him your equipment. Eventually, he picks up your machine pistol. Whoa! Where'd you get this old thing? It was kind of just lying around. Yeah, it looks it. Hmm. He looks over his shelves. You know, I have a suppressor somewhere around here that would fit on this. What would that do? Well, apart from mashing the sound of your shots, 
it also makes it a lot easier to control on full auto. Yeah, I'm sure I have that here somewhere. Okay... I'm, I'm curious now. Yeah, looks like your stock is jammed shut as well. You know, you could pull this out, right? That would help a ton as well. Okay... Look, there's rust on your bolt as well. It wouldn't hurt to clean this now and then. Magazine catch is all burred up. Uh-huh... I could clean all this crap off here, and here, get rid of that stupid strap on the bottom. It's basically falling off anyway. Alright, I get this idea. Can you do it or not? Huh? Oh yeah, give me a minute to find this effin' thing. He takes your machine pistol over to a bench. Wait. Oh, oh my goodness. After a while, he hands back your weapon. There you go. Had to get a bit creative. The barrel threads were all stripped to crap. New paint job as well. Free of charge. Thanks, buddy. I'll go try this out. Well, that's that settled. We're square. Come back if you need anything. I might have a little job for you. All right, see you later. Sweet, so I chose not to take the armor and not to take the ammo, but to take the weapon modification. Now, I can't fire this thing in this level because all the people will get riled up at me and shoot at me, but, uh... Yeah, now, does he have work for me, he said? You need anything? Um... Can I buy something? I'm selling gas canisters that will fit on a flamethrower for 300. I'm also selling some 9mm rounds for 120 a pack. Sorry, wish I had more. Okay, that's a gas canister for, I believe, that... Like, number 5 slot weapon. I believe that's what it's for. Not for my jackhammer. Um, maybe later. Um, what are you working on? This old rifle's for one of the guards. Mechanism was shot. Happens sometimes, especially with these glorified zip guns. Just need a new lever spring and it should be good to go. What size bullets does that thing fire? The cartridges are actually hand-loaded, but I guess they'd be equivalent to 10-gauge shotgun shells. Just a little longer. We've had to tool the rifle barrels ourselves. Wow. Know where I could buy one of those? It's actually handmade here in the subway. The guy in the next tent along sells them. I only do the tricky bits. I'll check that out later. Thanks. Um, you have any work for me? I want you to check out something. Heard the broadcast? The Numbers Lady? It started a few days ago. All the guards were talking about it. Uh, do you know where it came from? That's the thing. From somewhere inside the city. But that's impossible. Since the war, pretty much every transmitter we found has been fried. Only the most basic sets still work. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's an old automated system, so no one on the other end. But that kind of equipment? After all this time? Could be worth... Well, it would be priceless. I need someone to find it. Right. Any leads? My guess is the Spire. Big tower, just north of the station. But it could be anywhere. A bunch of scavers went up there. And probably anyone in the area who has a working receiver. You're resourceful, Smiley told me. I think you could find it. 
I'll go there as soon as I'm finished in town. Whoa, not so fast. Have you heard that storm? Stay inside until it blows over, man. With all that radioactive dust in the air, you'll be cooked in minutes. If I don't go now, someone else will beat me to it. Not happening. Okay, so I guess I'm anxious to leave. Um, so we'll leave. Nice, so I got some more information then about where to go after this. Um, so someone sells a gun that uses like 10 gauge shotgun shells, which is sounds pretty handy, or uses things similar to that. Ah, good, more junk. Got some more money. So... Today, Jojo versus Glowtooth. Oh boy. That sounds interesting. Um, we already talked, we already saw that one. Already saw that one. Okay, now there's these stairs going to Mashan Circle. But I want to go this way first. Organizer, betting or watching? What? The fight! It's about to start! Are you betting or watching? Fight? What kind of fight? Pit fights! Gosh, kid, you knew? It's simple. You pick a fighter, you place a bet. You go home laughing. What's there to not understand? So, are you in or out? Um... Is this what you guys do for fun? Hey, you see any televisions on your way in? Nope. No whorehouse either? We can't even use the radio. The guards got dibs on it. Why, are you some sort of mutant rights protester? Um, the guards have a radio? You hear about some strange broadcast recently? Broadcast? Oh, you mean that lady? Who cares about that creepy blank? Go ask the guards, hombre. Anything else? Okay, I'll bet. Now we're talking. Right, it's one half odds on JoJo winning with three to... Oh, it's one to two odds on JoJo winning with three to one on Glowtooth. Minimum bet is ten in whatever denomination you got. You need to hear the rules, yeah? What are the rules? Easy. Winner is the last one standing. They don't need to live. Just kill the other first. <laughs> oh, and no interfering with the fight. Cash up front. No credit. You in? Okay, tell me about the fighters. Sure. Both of them are in good health. Both are nasty as hell. If you want to see them, they're out back, in the pen. Uh, who's Jojo? Jojo's a mutant we bagged in the last raid. Ugly critter. Dumb as crap. But so far he's been pretty tough. He's the current favorite. Um, I'd like to hear about Glowtooth. She, actually... A fiend with a real vicious streak. Nasty bite, too. Just ask her handler. <laughs> She's already won one fight. Hmm. So, let me go see them out back, then. Are they in this? Yeah, they are. Oh my gosh, these are the fighting pits. Which, uh, I am not a fan of. I'm not a fan of death-to-death -death combat. You want to join my gang? We need a new scout. Where the F did you come from? An armed society is a polite... Okay, yeah. Okay, so you guys have nothing interesting to say, but... Yeah. That must be the... That must be Glowtooth. And 
and that must be um, Jojo, the mutant. Okay. Nice. Yeah, not interested. I don't think I'm interested in this. Um, though it is just a video game. Hmm. Do I dare set aside my anti... death-to-death -death combat lifestyle that I try to live every day? Or do I break that to make a little extra cash on betting? We'll decide later. I'm not really interested right now, if I'm completely honest. Okay, this is the bar that I went to. This is just like a dead end, I guess. Do you guys think I'm really for real? No, of course we're gonna watch it! <laughs> of course we are! Okay, so... Um... Hmm. So, who was the 3 to 1? I think it was Glowtooth that was 3 to 1. Yeah, I'll... I'll bet on the, uh... The... Vicious Female Fighter. Um... Like... Tell me about the fighters, let's see. Um... Both of them are in good health. Who's Jojo? Yeah. He's the current favorite. Okay, so it's Jojo who's the current favorite. Um, and then Glowtooth. She's the fiend with a real vicious streak. Hmm. And she's already won one fight. I am going to put my money on Glowtooth, even though the odds are not in her favor. I just have that feeling. I have that I have that stroking feeling that something is going to happen. Okay. Glow tubes on 3 to 1 odds. That means for every dollar you stake, you win 3. Plus your stake if she wins. Deal? Okay, I'll put money on Glow tooth. Great. How much do you want to stake? Minimum bet is 10. Cash or junk? No credit. Let's do the maximum bet. $30. Let's do it, baby. Great. Here's your ticket. See you after the show. I have a chance to make uh, $90, I think. Come on, Glowtooth. You can do it. Keep biting. Keep biting. <laughs> Boy, not looking good. Oh my gosh! Hey! <laughs> yay! Glow tooth! Yay! Yay! <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I have to go. I've got work to do. Okay. Yay! Glow tooth won! <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised. Good job. And that was one of the monsters. <laughs> I guess I could shoot Glowtooth and she could die, but nah, I don't want to do that. Um, I guess I won then, didn't I? What a fight, eh? You got a ticket to hand in? I bet $30 on Glowtooth. Ha! <laughs> got some pretty angry faces out there after that one. Here's your money. By the way, come back tomorrow. We've got a pissed up tribal fighting a two-headed cow. How would that even work? No idea, but it's gonna be friggin' hilarious! Ha ha ha! Alright, I just made 90 bucks, everybody. Yeah! Good job, Glowtooth. You did well. You did very, very well. And with that, I celebrate my victory over that. That was interesting. I. I had in the back of my mind I was just going to keep reloading until I actually won, but I didn't have to. I won the first time. I guess I guess I'm good at betting. Maybe I should do that more often, huh? Like in real life. Nah, not really. I would suck at it. Anyways, guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here and I'll see you guys in the next part of Ashes 2063, the enriched version.
So take care, everybody. I'll see you then.